Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be having a look at integrating Hive Active Heating with Home Assistant. Okay, first off, uh, apologies if the audio isn't too good on this video. Um, I'm in a room that we've freshly decorated, so not had a chance to put any soft furnishings or anything in yet that would absorb some of the sound. I do also have my 3D printer going in the background, uh, so sorry if the audio quality isn't the best. Uh, so yeah, as we said, we're going to look at integrating the Hive Active Heating System uh, to with Home Assistant. A uh, few reasons why we do this, uh, one it means that we can add our heating system into any automations we may have, but also it means that we can see information about our house in the one place. This will become especially helpful when we're looking at building a dashboard for the house uh, later on and a bit more of a friendly user interface. Uh, we can integrate the heating control into that as well. So it's really quick and easy to integrate a Hive with a Home Assistant. So all we need to do is navigate to your configuration.yaml file using either the Samba share or using the configurator add-on within Home Assistant. Now we covered all of that in another video, so if that doesn't make any sense to you, go back and have a look at that. So here in our configuration.yaml file, we're going to go ahead and go Hive. And then username, and password. Now the username and password that you need here is the username and password that you use to log into your Hive account or to log into the Hive app. Now you'll have set all of that up um, before, uh, you know, when you, when you were getting your um, system installed. So I'm going to go ahead and put my username and password in here. I'm going to pause the video while I do that because uh, I'm not too keen to give my username and password out. Okay, once we've got our password and username input into the configuration.yaml file, go ahead and save that. And we're going to jump back into Home Assistant. And because we've made a change to our configuration file, we're going to go to Configuration General and check our configuration. You can see here a configuration is valid. So we can go ahead and restart Home Assistant. Come here, reboot. Now that'll take a little while. Um, so let's jump over to Amazon and we can just have a look at the current price of a Hive uh, at the moment in the UK. So without installation, uh, this is going to set you back £135. Now you can opt to have it installed um, but installation is going to cost you $138.99 uh, for the installation and the item. Now, if you are a British Gas or Scottish Gas customer, then you can contact them directly and you might get a better price, I don't know. Uh, I did install it myself. There's lots of guides online how to do that. Uh, I'm not condoning doing that and if you go ahead and electrocute yourself or void the warranty on your boiler or whatever then that's not my responsibility um, however I will say that it is a fairly easy thing to install okay here we are back in home assistant and home assistant has now restarted if we head back over to the overview page you can now see that we have this heating widget uh, this will display the current temperature within the house as well as the current target temperature and the mode which the heating is in. So if we click on the three dots here, we can see a bit more information. We can see the, uh, the mode that it's currently in, the target temperature again, and the current temperature. And we can also see that that's plotted out on a graph here for us. Uh, we can change the target temperature here uh, and we can also change the operation. At the moment, we've got it in auto mode. You can turn it off or have it in heat mode. This uh, auxiliary heating switch here it has the same functionality as the boost function in the app. So if you'd like to boost your heating for a half an hour or an hour, you can go ahead and use this switch here to toggle that on and off. You can also 
adjust the target uh, temperature with this slider on the main screen. And that's it. That's how you integrate Hive with Home Assistant. It's very easy, but this will allow us to, um, you know, use our heating system in automations and also have all of our information about our home on one screen or on one dashboard. So if you have found this video helpful or useful at all, please do subscribe. Subscriptions do mean a lot uh, to the channel. Uh, also like and comment. Thanks for watching.